This is the Google Pixel 8. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is go ahead and turn it on. Press and hold that power button until it boots up and you should be at this welcome screen here. From here, go ahead and choose your language. I'm good with English in the USA. I'm going to tap on Get Started down here. Setting up another device to copy settings, accounts, and more from another phone or tablet, keep it nearby un and unlocked. So if you want to do that, you can bring your other Pixel, your Android device, or tablet, or your iPhone, or iPad, bring it closer here, and tap whichever, whichever one that you want. For myself, I want a clean, fresh install in here, so I'm going to clip, click on Skip for myself. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi now to get that latest update. I'm going to input my Wi-Fi password. After you put in your password, tap on connect. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Checking network info. Asking you to sign into your Google account, basically your Gmail. You can go ahead and sign in now, or you can create an account, or you can skip and do it later, like I'm going to do here. I'm just going to skip and I'll sign in later. Connect to your mobile network. So you can go ahead and download your eSIM or you can go ahead and insert your physical SIM card now. For myself, I'm going to do the insert a physical SIM card. After I'm done with setup, I'll make another video for that and the link will be below. Okay, so for me, I'm going to go ahead and skip this part right here. Skip for now. Set a PIN, basically a password, four digits, so go ahead and choose it. After you choose it, tap on next, re-enter it one more time, then tap on confirm again. Set up fingerprint unlock, basically a fingerprint password. Go ahead and scroll down. You can read through that. You can go no thanks and you can do it later or no thanks, never do it. Or you can agree and do it now. I'm going to go ahead and agree and do mine now. Fingerprint sensor is going to be here on the phone. So I'm going to tap on start here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the finger that I want on there. And you're going to feel it vibrate, vibrates. Just keep going until that circle completes. Move your finger around slightly, different areas, keep on going. Okay, there we go. Now from here, you can go ahead and add another fingerprint if you wish, or you can always do it later. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on next. I'm fine with just my thumb. Google services. Now these three here, use location, allow scanning, and send you usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, so it's up to you, okay? For me, I'm fine with having all those toggled on. I will tap on Accept. Limited warranty, you can go ahead and read through that. Tap on Next here. Additional legal terms, I'm going to tap on I Accept right there. Review additional apps, you can go ahead and uncheck whatever ones you don't want, and you can always uh, download them later as well, but I'm fine with all of these on here, and I'm going to tap on OK. Swipe to navigate, learn gestures to go home, go back, and switch apps. You can skip that or you can try it, okay? But for me, I'm going to go ahead and try this. To go home from the bottom of the screen, swipe up. To go back, you want to swipe from left to right or you can go from right to left as well or left to right. You want to switch open apps that are running in the background. Just go from the bottom and just go up a little bit just like that. Well done. Let's tap on done right there. You're all set. Swipe up to go home. And we're in business. If you guys know how to insert a physical SIM card, look in the link below. We're going to do that next.